Tonight, the state of Washington is preparing to dole out more than $100 million in fines for leaving mentally ill defendants in jail for months on end. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. As King 5 Susanna Frame reports in our ongoing investigation, mentally ill waiting in jail, the fines are part of a federal judge's ruling that the state is in contempt of court for failing mentally ill patients. The court, I think, has, has said, state, you have not done enough and you need to do better. I think the excuses are over. Plaintiff attorneys say the latest court ruling should help mentally ill inmates stuck in jail. People whose civil rights are being violated by the state of Washington, now found again to be in contempt of court orders. What happens in jail is people get worse. They get sicker. They get so sick that they never get back to the baseline they were when they came into jail to begin with. And you think this contempt finding will hopefully address those very serious needs? Absolutely. The problem of leaving sick people in jail, often in solitary confinement, has dragged on for years. In 2015, eight years ago, federal judge Marsha Peckman ruled the state is violating the constitutional rights of some of its most vulnerable citizens, that jails are not hospitals, and the mentally ill are being warehoused while they wait for services. Peckman ordered DSHS to stick to a timeline. After a judge orders treatment, they've got seven days to get the patient to the hospital. But a King 5 investigation found over the last six months, some people were waiting for a year. I have anxiety. The state says the waits got so long because of COVID, staffing shortages, and a skyrocketing increase in demand. In her new ruling, Judge Peckman said, those are excuses, that the problem is DSHS's own lack of foresight, creativity, planning, and a timely response to a crisis of its own making. $100 million, that's a lot of money. That fine will most likely be spent on improving services for people with serious mental illness, including programs designed to keep people from entering the criminal justice system in the first place. So now we're on year nine of this federal lawsuit. Hoping to wrap it so up. So one more ruling, but we, we haven't gotten anywhere yet, really. Not yet, but this one really is the most serious ruling with the most like direction. So the state really has a lot of marching orders. And a big fine mm -hmm. to take care of it. Yeah. Thanks.